Don't let the bad economy stop you from fixing up your home. Amy Matthews of the DIY Network's Sweat Equity Program is here to show us two popular projects that can be done with paint and just for punny. Pennies. Good Just morning. For pennies or puns. If yeah, you want to laugh and, and joke while you're painting, it's good. It's all good. <laughs> all right. Because normally you call the contractor and the contractor says, well, we're going to tear down this wall and we're going to do this and we're going to stick this over there. You're really talking about none of that. No. it's right? a, And I love tearing down walls. Don't mm -hmm. get me wrong. Yeah. But it's all about the amount of money you have to spend and the amount of time you have to spend. Right. And paint is not permanent. So you can make great changes in a room, less than 100 bucks, mm -hmm. transform it with paint and especially adding some architectural interest. Now, right. two of the big rooms, and we have a couple pictures of some baths and some kitchens. Now, right. bathrooms and kitchens sell houses. Mm -hmm. And sometimes all your bathroom needs is a quick fix, like new faucets, right. uh, a fresh coat of paint, maybe some accents like behind those pictures right there. Sure. Add a spa feeling to it. And you have an instant transformation for not a lot of money. Right. Same with the kitchens. One of the best things you can do in your kitchen is just to gel stain or paint your cabinetry. You can spend 60% of your, of your kitchen budget on right. new cabinets. Yeah. Imagine if you uh. could get rid of that old 80s golden oak by mm -hmm. just painting it, maybe a backsplash, maybe a new countertop. Sure. Okay. So those are two things that are really going to boost the home value for not a lot of money. There you go. Now let's talk about Wayne's coating. Yes. What is Wayne's coating? Well, Wayne's coating is anything that's usually on the lower third of the wall. It can okay. be a beadboard style. It uh -huh. can be a picture frame style. Right. Um, and there's so many ways to do that with uh, different kinds of millwork. Custom millwork costs a lot of money. Uh -huh. It's sometimes an okay DIY project, but it can be challenging. Mm -hmm. um, and we can make some of those same transformations for a fraction of the cost with paint. You're adding the same architectural interest and the look that you're getting with some right. of these custom pieces mm -hmm. by literally just using using tape and paint. Right. Um, and I want to show you one of the houses that we worked on. It was really great, you know, with the holidays. Everybody right. wants to make quick transformations mm -hmm. inside. This is a great dining room example of picking an accent wall, wow. making that wainscoting on the lower third, wow. getting some picture framing up top. And that's all paint? It's all paint. Literally, you need a level, you need a pencil, a right. tape measure, and we have the so live gonna show version us how, of you. So you're going to show us how to do this? Yeah. This, so here is one that, this is just, you know, a flat that we, you know, dra dra right. drug out here. And right. And then, and then you did this. We did this. And it's so simple. And imagine this 100 bucks to change your room. Right. And it's not permanent. So as soon as the holidays are over and you want another <laughs> quick change, you can paint the room again, right? I You're hate done. that. I hated that. <laughs> all right, show us how it's So done. we've prepped the wall. We've mm -hmm. already used Scotch Blue Painter's Tape to get this all prepped off and mm -hmm. found our lines. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to show you, because one of the most important parts of taping is how you actually put the tape on the wall. And not okay. everybody does this right. Right. So when you put the tape on the wall, you mm -hmm. only want to take it off a couple feet at a time. Right. Okay. Get a nice line and then use a straight edge. You can use a five and one tool right. to smooth it down right. and make sure you kind of lock the edges or if you don't have a five and one tool you can even use a credit card to do the same thing. All okay? Right. okay. And then that's going to seal it for you so you have a really good finish at the right. end. So I'm going to pull this one off and you and I are going to start painting. Are you ready? I don't know. You look too nice to paint. Take this. I'm waiting well, for some puns. You got to give me some jokes right. while we're doing this. Uh, all right, this is yours. It's already rolled up, so just uh, get a little off there. And go so right in the middle. Here? Go in the middle first, not on the tape first. Get some of the excess off your, your all roller. Right, all right. And you always want to start high to low. That way, as you paint, you can pick up some of the drips. And the important thing is doing exactly. You are good at this. Well. The M's and W's, right? So you're getting a nice full coverage on there. Okay. And then once I get a little bit off here, now you can go over the tape on the right. edges. All right. I don't know. You might not go back to work. He might be stuck doing painting the rest of the day. I think I may have found my calling. <laughs> oh, okay, because we're going all color? the way over. I'm we're sorry. We're going over. Oh, no, you're, wow. you're good. You're good. Right. Hopefully your walls right. at home don't move like this. If you all have right. that problem, call me right. because I okay. can help you. All right. Um, so <laughs> She's a real contractor, ladies and gentlemen. All right. <laughs> I drive a truck, right? right? All right. So then, now, normally you would wait until sure, the paint is completely all dry. And dry and but, but because I, you smoothed this down so well, right. you're not going to have any issues when you pull it up. Yes. Well, the other thing thing is, and I didn't mention earlier, is that when you do put that tape down, if you have uneven walls, right. you can actually put a, a line of base coat along the edge, which uh -huh. seals the edge of the tape, okay. and then you get a nice right. clean finish. But, but on the, a good wall like this, here. now granted, it should be right. a dry dry paint, but right. here. And then the, the key of pulling it up is mm -hmm. actually going at an angle, 45 degree angle, right. and pulling kind of nice and slow. Look at that. All the way up like that. Isn't that fun? Is that Although the most fun you wet, ever so had? it's getting all over. All right. Okay. Like, can we move on to the uh, kids' room section yes. here? I was going to lick my finger. It's not like I do a cooking show. What's wrong with well, me? Well, maybe it, just so long <laughs> as it's not oil-based paint, you'll probably be okay. Well, I'll be fine. Right. All right. How many kids do you know named Don? None anymore. Okay. So uh, maybe there's your Sam and your Ella, but you know we brought Don in here. <laughs> 
<laughs> but kids' rooms, you always want to change with the times and with their age. Mm -hmm. Their desires for something different in the room changes every sure, year. Sure, Paint sure. is a great, easy, quick way to do that. Right. We've done a really cool room. I want to show you the picture. A teenager's room, instead of buying a headboard or buying new decor, right. we painted a headboard on there wow. and then used a monogram to get some fun, that fun colors. Really cool. So this is an example of how you can do it with circles. Mm -hmm. We used uh, paper plates, right. actually, just put it on there, drew yeah. it put the tape around, and then you take it off and you end up with this nice Same kind of deal. finish on the end. So that you can play with it. Right. And if you want something instantaneous. What's this stuff? Well, don't do that for the holidays, but that's for the kids. Right. Yeah. Oh, like, what are these things? Oh, they're these just actually, stickies? Yep, if you, if you don't fancy yourself a fine painter, which mm -hmm. I think you are, Yeah. these are reusable. Right. Paint a nice base oh, color, spruce up the room. Slap one on there so we see what it looks like. And then. Oh, look at that. That one goes on. And I bet those aren't very expensive. No, not at all. They're removed, and don't put it on like me because you end up with the bubbles in there. I don't do wallpaper very well. <laughs> but these are removable. They don't uh -huh. ruin the paint underneath, and you can change them as your kids' taste change, which you know is about every five minutes, right? Wayne's cutting. Wayne's cutting or cutting. coating. I say coating, but I'm from the Midwest. See, that's what that was because I, I said it was coating too. Yeah. All right, yeah. Amy. Thank you very much. You're welcome.